Welcome back to another video guys. Thanks for tuning in to Jojo Coco Studio. Today we're going to be doing a mod on this guy right here, the Define Mini C by Fractal Design. Yesterday I picked this up for the first time and unboxed it. This is my first Fractal Design by the way. And damn, my first impression was like, wow, this is this is some quality case. For those of you who who own this case, you know what I'm talking about, right? So there'll be three modifications to this uh, Define Mini C right here. The first one might be obsolete in the future because I plan to paint this entire case white. Therefore, in the future, if Fractal Design Define Mini C, you know, has a white version, then that sucks for me, right? But it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna pull this case apart and then paint the interior and the exterior white. The second mod is that I am going to cut the top bit and replace it with acrylic so that I have like a an extra window on the bird's eye view looking down into the case. That'll be really cool. And the third one I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna paint the PSU shroud with a massive fractal design logo. The logo that I'm talking about is this this thing over here, this blue crystal thing. I'm not sure what do you call that. And the fourth one, if you call that a case mod, but I don't know if it is if it's a case mod, is that I'm gonna be doing my first custom water cooling loop into this case so wish me luck so I, this this will be my first time it'll be really interesting and I'm definitely I'll show you like the process and, and everything so as you can see here I've taken out the covers and all that so the only thing that we have to do now is we have to uh, remove these rivets All right guys, so now that's done, I'll quickly show you what are the parts. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with this. So that's that's the top, that's the back of the motherboard, that's the front of the case, this is the back, this is the um, video card and IO port slot, that's the PSU shroud, this is where I'm gonna put the, the massive Fractal Design logo onto this, and this is the bottom of the case. So I'm just gonna sand uh, all the surface off so that the spray paint will really stick onto this. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna be using a sanding block, which is kind of like a sponge here, but it's a really hard sponge and it remains the same shape. I'm gonna be using a 600 grit sanding paper, so I'm just gonna wrap this around and start uh, sanding the surface of the, the, the structure of the case. And also I'll be using a soapy water, which I just, just created. So some of you have asked uh, how I create stickers, and here it is. This is a little cutting machine that cuts sticker. It's a uh, silhouette, and um, the model name is Portrait. So yeah, basically I'm just cutting out the Fractal Design logo, as you can see here. We're at the Silhouette Studio. And now all we have to do is remove the sticker from the sticker. Luckily this is a PVC sticker, and it maintains its shape very well. Uh oh, oh, now the Fractal Design logo has disappeared. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so how should I place it? Should I place it like this? Oh, oh, Destiny called, it's already done. All right, fine, fine. The sticker wants to be like this. We'll do it the way how it wants it to be. Now I'll just do it. All I have to do is just press this down. All right guys, so there you have it. This is uh, exactly what I wanted, like a, a massive fractal design logo on the side. It doesn't really look like a fractal design logo because it has like a bend here, but 
I guess it kind of looks cool because I don't know if I don't have this logo It'll just be really white and empty hmm. Wait a second guys. I nearly forgot this top bit the extra window from the the bird's eye view So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna cut a acrylic and then put it on here so that we have like a protection So that obviously nothing will fall into the case damn guys my rule is too short Okay, watch this yeah, that's better. Most side panels with windows, they're tinted, but uh, I've never seen a clear one. And uh, do you guys prefer clear or tinted? Obviously this is clear, so you can really see through everything in here. So guys, as you can see here, this case is very, very clear. I mean, you can see through every single thing. It's like there's no private area. What I'm gonna do now, I've, I have a quick idea. I'm just gonna create like a really massive acrylic side panel and that's it. And what's gonna hold that? couple of magnets. So one of the exciting moments or exciting part of this case mod which is not so related to case mod is the custom water cooling bit. I'm gonna go with some EK. Let's start off with the pump and this pump is a DDC pump and it looks something like this and it looks very basic. I guess you can use it off the bat like just just like that but the thing is that it looks kind of kind of ugly and I also heard that this gets quite hot therefore I bought this thing here a DDC heatsink housing which I'll uh, put it on and also to make it look a little bit better on the top instead of using this funny thing I'll be using a, a EKX top DDC as well so let's put this together and it'll be my first time so what I've done is that I've taken these screws off now I can put on the heatsink first and uh, let's do this together actually. If you guys know how to custom water cool uh, build and all that, then feel free to uh, skip this part, yeah? All right, let's open it together, guys. So I'm not sure about the D5 pumps, but these guys gets really hot, so I just bought it JIC. Apparently you put it like this. Wait a minute, it doesn't fit? My bad guys, I did not read the instruction carefully, so yes, important to read the instructions. So, what you have to do is that you just simply push this off. All right. Man, I nearly freaked out just then. So, oh, that looks nice. Yes, we need a thermal pad. It's better to put it on here because the, the shape matches. So now that's in place, we put it on and I assume that the, it goes like this, right? Because there's a there's an area here for the for the wires. Now we open the the X Top DDC. I chose the the acetal version, the black one. I heard they're just more durable than acrylics, so I want to position it like this. Put the screws underneath here on the other side as well, and then we have this thing. It's called vibration damper okay guys so that's it so as for the GP water block I'm not gonna show you how I'm gonna assemble this because I guess most most of you guys have like a different graphics card so yeah and looking through the EKWB instruction and manual it seems very straightforward so yeah nothing to worry about
Okay, so this is the plan for my custom water cooling loop. I'm gonna be putting a 240 radiator on the front with two fans, two 120 millimeter fans with, with a pull configuration. So we'll definitely see the, the fan sticking this way. I'm gonna be putting the pump over here, the DDC pump as we saw earlier, mounted on the, um, the hard drive. The reservoir in a horizontal, obviously the GPU here, another radiator over here but a smaller radiator which is a 120 millimeter radiator with a push configuration so the fan will be sticking on top of the radiator as well. And the loop will look something like this, the, the in and out of the radiator will be on, on the bottom and then it goes up here and then to the CPU and then hot water comes out from the CPU to the radiator and then from the radiator cold water comes out to the GPU and then GPU hot or warm water or whatever it is comes out back to the reservoir and then the reservoir goes back into the pump and there goes one big cycle. I heard that like uh, you don't really need an extra radiator just for the GPU but you know since since there's like a lot of space here might as well just utilize it right and another thing that I that I was doing some research watching other YouTube channels especially like Jace 2 Sense uh, yeah uh, the the pull configurations it seems that like they're, they're, they're not that much of a difference between the push configuration I think it's I think it's just like approximately one or two degrees difference so yeah just for the aesthetics, I'm gonna put, you know, I'm gonna do a pull configuration so that we can see the nice white fans. All right guys, let's start off with the radiator first since it's one of the biggest components in this water cooling loop. This is the um, XSPC model named EX240, I believe. It's nice and white, goes well with the theme. Now we have to mount the pump over there. Damn, I need three hands. Ugh, I have to reach. Oh no, I dropped it. So the fan I'm gonna go with is the EK Varda. And I guess the market, they don't really sell white fans like this. So I'm kind of limited to this. And it goes pretty well with the build, right? Tip number one that I just discovered. Put the fans on first. It's a lot more convenient. As for the reservoir, I'm gonna go with the Bits Power Water Tank Z Multi 50. So obviously this is just the reservoir and it comes with like some stands and obviously the reservoir itself. I heard Bits Power, they, they make pretty good ones as well. Uh, I've, I've never used other ones, but this is my first one and I'm kind of impressed with the quality. It's very nice. I heard that the anti-cyclone is is quite important so don't take that off and this thing over here I guess uh, I'm not exactly sure but like I think you need to put you know when the water comes in it must be under the water so technically if I if I don't use this because it'll be in a horizontal position right the water will always be above it so it should be fine so I'm gonna remove this one uh, this I don't know what you call that but this thing here and uh, yeah, on top, you can see that there are three ports. That's just a plug. I think this is for the LED. I heard that it's five millimeter and the bottom's just, just a, a G quarter thread. By the way, everything is a G one quarter thread. So that's, I guess that's the standard, right? Because I've never seen other, other thread sizes. So, hmm. So something like this along, by the way, these are like fasteners. So that just clips in very easily. I'm gonna place it here. I have to be honest with you, I'm gonna put double-sided tape underneath this stand. I don't wanna drill any more holes onto this case. Tip number two, guys. This GPU is quite long for this configuration. As you can see here, yes, the fans and the radiator is eating up the space and I can barely fit this GPU in here. So yes, uh, tip number two, always make sure you have a lot of room. The option number two that I have is that I can move the, the fans to the front, right? To have a push configuration, but I think I can get away with this by just shoving it in and hopefully it just 
doesn't break anything. Hmm. It's, it's stuck at the DVI port. Oh, wait a minute. I just got passed through it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god. Oh look, it's floating. Yeah, let's not mess around. Damn guys, talk about the saggy this card is. I mean, look at it. I don't know if you can see this, but I think I'm just gonna put like a clear tube sticking up here so that it doesn't sag as much. But yeah, uh, I've managed to shove this card in and it is literally like touching the fans right now. And the fan can just still spin. All right, that's good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna split the video into two parts. Obviously, part number one, we have covered the case mod itself and I've cut the window, painted everything white, put on the Fractal Design massive logo on the PSU shroud. The next video is that I am gonna cover, you know, custom water cooling loop into this build. And definitely I will show you the process of like everything. And I'll be talking about fittings, some adapters as well, some dies, tubes as well, the sizes and all accessories, cuttings, beddings, and all that. And um, yeah, and, and if, if you'd notice that I have uh, put in some LED lights, white LED lights on the side and on the top as well, obviously that's behind it. And the funny thing is that like I've put an LED light underneath the GPU. Let's check this out in the dark. Wow, there you go guys. I really like this mod, I mean the cutout on top. It, you can really see them from the bird's eye view and also yeah, it looks great It's it looks great all around. I really do like it. It's nice and white So guys if you like this video, please press the like button and if you found this informative Don't forget to share it and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in part number two later